Okay, guys. Um, this is a two-pound coin image from the Royal Mint, and I'm doing it this way on this coin, uh, on this video, just so you can see. This is an official picture of the Royal Mint. Okay, from the Royal Mint. What's the first thing you see about that edge? Wide, thin. Wide thin get that out of the way as well I've been wrong uh, and all of my previous videos on this I've been wrong I thought I'd check up on the Royal Mint what it's supposed to look like the big the big um, wheel or cog depends which one you want to call cog on a wheel does have a nipple so all those videos uh, I've made are wrong you can clearly see the image although it doesn't show you the image where where they join but I think that's there and yeah it is and you can see where they join up the eight it's not a brilliant picture and yes I have seen that but the coins are so dirty that you can't you can't see it because it's so fine uh the beading <laughs> you again i can't you, you need to look up the royal mint site to, to do this the beading on their official site picture goes in and out these are the things they would consider to be a fake and yet the picture they show is diabolical um, now if you really want proof of all the things that I've shown you which are wrong um, and would be considered as a fake there's the designer's initials BR I can't remember his name now um, I think it's don't quote me I think it's Brian Rashid um, take note of the cogs or wheels I'll say they're, pro they're quite nice aren't they you know um, these are spectacular and like I say they've all got nipples including now that one the big one which is where I start normally I can't believe it myself I, I don't know what provoked me to look today um, and they don't show you the reverse uh, yeah, the reverse. Uh, no, this is the reverse. I'll talk about. I'm so um, frustrated. This is the reverse. They don't show you the obverse, the head side. <laughs> I, it doesn't really matter now. It really doesn't matter because there is their own image. And look at that, where it goes off of the gold onto the silver, the inner coin. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? it, it I, I'm so gobsmacked. It's unreal. Uh, and there's your drumsticks. Uh, elongated there. In line there. And there is a perfect picture of what I've been trying to show you. Um, it's the opposite way round. To there, see? That's that's the uh, on in line. That's the in line, and then there's the uh, elongated, and there's the elongated. Um, I really don't know what to say. It it doesn't even show the screw module. It is hard, but it doesn't even show the screws. These oh, there's one. It does show one there. <laughs> and you can't I can't blow this up anymore. Um I've tried doing it and it just goes even from that picture it goes um it, it, it it's all blurred. Um the guy the <laughs> oh, the guy the where I do get these pictures from, which is the coin club, it's even worse. Yeah, it's it's under the Royal Mail 
up Royal Mint. I'm so, I'm so unreal. Um, you won't see a double edge knock on that either. <laughs> a double edge, yeah, you won't see a double edge. Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I just don't know what to say. I feel, uh, I feel cheated, really, because from their own website, they are, this is what I've said, this is what I've said all the way along with this. Um, I won't be able to keep this video going because it only records on this phone for 30 minutes and it turns itself off. So if I get cut off, um, forgive me. Uh, yeah, look at that. And I was right, those um, beadings go on top. On top of the, whatever this image is supposed to be. And on my planchet coins, you can now understand what happens with with these bits. It's usually, um, it is usually on the two pound, by the two pounds, and on, on the up opposite side, down here, you can't see it on this one. It's very hard. That, it's where it's dipped, and that is where it's ridden. Risen, ridden, risen. Um, or is it not? Hang on a minute. Which way round is it? Is that if that's rose? Yes. So that's dipped because they're in the right place. No, hang on a minute. No, if they're in the right place, they must be risen. So you can't. It. It's hard to see this. You need to look across the coin to actually be able to see it. And the coin that I've got on my camera, which I shall start up in a minute, I shall do this um, so you can see the difference. And I will try and show you how you can visually tell. I think if you think about it logically, to be in the right place must be there because that's obviously right so that's risen and that's uh, sunk I'm pretty sure I'm right there because this is it's got to be the opposite it can't be it can't be unless it's the same there but it is the same there on this one just about um, so that's where you're not going to get that shadow and this shadow um, and like I say Royal Mint don't give a obverse side with the Queen's head supposedly with all this eye um, the eye and uh, what's the other thing they say the hair it doesn't give you an example of um, of that so I just find it absolutely gobsmacking I really do uh, and look wide wide Thin, thin. Oh, that that has done my head in, this cog, because all those cogs, all those pictures, have not got a, a nipple. These little nipples, or rivets, or whatever you want to call them now, if you can call them whatever you like, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Yeah, so I think if you was to get a real, if there was a real fake coin, it would be drastic. So I mean, it would be drastic. These um, would exhibit uh, different things. So even on this, look, 
So that's something else I've got to look at from now on. These are all small. The, tri the diamond shapes are all small until you get to here. Then they're elongated. Which it must be for it to be this one to be elongated. Whereas that's normal in line. And it does it on the reverse side. Where that's elongated and that's in line. That's small and that's small so it doesn't really make any difference there but that is a good telltale sign now if you've got a fake because that's going to be pretty hard to, to produce so some of them that I've shown you on mine I would question now because they're quite thick they're not they're not thin lines they're quite thick um, and they are they are atrocious those then I would definitely say a fake because there you have it that's the way they should be and you know the the depth from <laughs> supposed to be the inner beading um, from there to the edge is pretty sink um, that's about it but yeah you can see it on here there's there's your normal one there's your four coils and then there uh, not, you can't see it there. oh there you can see it there is where they're joined up I've not seen one coin yet where I've been able to do that to determine that um, if that's true uh, it's, it's it's a joke you know I've, I've seen posts on uh, YouTube and they're going on about oh they're fake they're that because you can't hardly see what's in the middle that's just poor that's misinformation as far as I'm concerned because they are poor because they're so old and so dirty how are you supposed to see something as fine as that um, and you know oh these are fake these are fake they're not fakes it's um and all the, I would imagine all the all the photos you see on websites on the web, um, especially regarding the the inscription on the edges or patterns motifs, you're going blind because without a proper a proper photo or an image showing that you're 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 in your own well realm you, what can you say if you're not shown it how can you say whether it's a fake or not and this is really what brings it into real question how can you determine that you've got a fake and if you passed it on and then someone said you've just passed me a fake coin you tell them you find this picture tell me what, what a real one looks like because I can't find one I can't find one and that is like I say that is a stock photo from Royal Mint if I I wonder if that will come, come up no it doesn't because it's just, this is a saved image let me uh, um, let me just go oh jeez uh, I'll have to search it again Royal Mint <laughs> well, why isn't this behaving? Isn't it marvellous? It's not behaving now. Um, it's coming up with all this crap. 
No, I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, oh, I know way round. <clears throat> This is the coin database. Uh, so we want No we don't. Where is the raw mint can't see Raw Mint oh, flipping egg. Isn't this unreal? Normally what you get is when you click on that normally it takes you to their site but for some reason it's not doing that now official site here yeah, let's go there ah that's bad up right yeah so you look at uh two pound coins and if you do that it gives you all these other takes you to all these other sites now which you can't take for granted and that's the best image you get and as soon as you try to expand upon it that's what it does, it takes you to a visual search. A lot of rubbish. But even still, if we click on, oh no, because it doesn't take us to, you don't see a head side. And I can't remember how I got to that picture that I've got that we're talking about. This one. Um. <clears throat> this is saying Chipo downloads 1997 biometric two coin web page. Um, see, so you, you now have to question. Oh, I mean, um, let's get rid of that. Because you can't expand upon that, I may be not. The, the nipple on that one must be okay because let's ditch that. Admittedly, that shows it, but I can't. That it, yeah, if if that's missing, um. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Uh, um, how do I get that up? I need to be, uh, I don't know where it downloaded images. Um, oh, I don't know. that I'm sure I took from the Royal Mint website see without getting <clears throat> without getting a proper and you just there's just no way of uploading that The design in four con concentric circles depicts mankind's industrial and technology pr progress from the Iron Age to the Internet. I don't know how they define that. I really haven't got a clue. But as you, you can't... Oh, hang on a minute. There's...
I don't want to save it, I want to open it. Oh, I don't know. But, um... Why won't that open? I did a... So anyway, um, there's all these, look, and they're all the same. You cannot open them. So I, I as far as I'm concerned, um, oh, this site is crap. See, it takes you to this, and it's a load of rubbish. Because even if you do that, oh, it does do that. But there is no, there is no image. No, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? There's no way of bringing up a picture of so all this does, all I'm showing you now is it just shows you that there is no way um there is no way you can determine we might come up trumps here Let's go right back to 19. Let's see. Nope. You can't. You can't um, get a bigger picture. But I can tell you something. Looking at this, I can tell that that is the same image it might be slightly all out from what I've just shown you but that's near enough just that alone is near enough the same and actually <laughs> talk about 2002 this is supposed to be and that says 1996 <laughs> <laughs> what a load of cobs wallop <laughs> so that is the same image that's going to be the same image there it's going to be it um, disappears uh, you can't see that because it's so fine so there you go um, if the Royal Mint can't even project their own coins for you to check against as a real as a real coin what can you do just what can you do <laughs> I just don't believe it let's see what well, let's go to another year just to check this out 1990 that's all they've done is they've taken a 1997 image reverse side not even showing you um, the obverse side it stinks it stinks so if anyone ever tries telling you that you've just passed them a, two, a, a fake two pound coin unless it's blatantly obvious 
some of the images you see on the net are really crude they are really crude um, you can tell that they've, they're not real and then you've got other other signs that will assist you like if it's Chinese it'll be a different metal so it'll be magnet magnetic because uh, oh where am I my here's my magnet oh you won't be able to see it they don't pick up they're absolutely don't pick up but how fake is that let's go to that let's see That just takes you to these stupid. Let's just open one. No, so you can't. Um... Hang on. Oh, so that just takes you back to where I've just come from. So, there you have it, my friends. There is no way of really determining a fake coin so if they're not going to do that everything you see that's out of out of kilter out of a photo or whatever um, it's it's just it's not <laughs> um, and everything I've been showing you, uh, you can't you can't tell the truth. You cannot tell the truth because you haven't got an image to go by to start off with. Although this one it does give that little bit that joins up the fours to the eight. So you've got two, four, six, eight, right? And then those make four sets of coils, and then the eight are joined up like that. And if you click on that, it doesn't mean anything. It's a lot of crap. But I am gobsmacked, gob, gobsmacked, gobsmacked that there's a nipple on that big cog, because I've not seen one so far. So there you go, folks. I'm going to be putting this on um, YouTube so that uh, this can be shown. It's coming up for 30 minutes. So I've got to go, otherwise it'll do it itself. But I hope that now clarifies to you, um, without a shred of a doubt, that it's rubbish. There's no way of de defining a fake coin. Because the image I use is a fake anyway. <laughs> hey, can you believe it? <laughs> it's beyond belief, it really is. Um, do you know what I might even write I might even write to the Royal Mint and ask them oh that is so blatant the beading there look <laughs> oh do you know what I would get a fake coin now and pass it on and get nabbed that's what I want because you could take this to court and it would be thrown out. It would be thrown out. So all, the, all those images you see online are, are, are people that are trying to do what I'm doing. Or oh, excuse me. Oh, taking pictures of coins of themselves from themselves and you're looking at something you just do not know because where are they getting their images from because it won't be 
uh, if it's a proper image of a proper coin it's going to should be exactly the same as this shouldn't it because this is what they're saying on the Royal Mint website although it's not the Royal Mint website because if you look at the address I don't know cause, no that, that's that's the address in it J L P P O but you can see this image it's, it's really very hard because it's such a small image um, but someone's taken that photo Anyway, so I got all excited and it might, well it has proved one thing, this, this nipple on this coin. There must be a nipple on, on the coin. And I haven't seen anything. And how many coins has that been? Let's go, let's go, I'm, I'm on 2002 now and we'll go there. Bye guys.